Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Gamification can help improve customer engagement, increase loyalty and boost sales of any kind of shop. In today's video, we will learn how we can build a gamification strategy using points and rewards to loyalize our customers. With our plugin GIF WooCommerce Points and Rewards, we will be able to reward our customers whenever they achieve a certain target or level and also improve their shopping experience. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Ok guys, the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and activate our plugin. For that, let's go over here to plugins, we're going to search for points, here we have it, Git WooCommerce Points and Rewards Premium version 3. All we need to do is click on activate. Then once we see this message, plugin activated, it means we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and find our plugin. It will be from GIF and points and rewards. Inside the plugin, we will find the following tabs. Customer points, points options, redeem options, customization and emails. Now, the first step that we need to do is enable the points collection in our shop. For that, let's go over now to points options. From here, we will review some of the main settings available, starting with this option, assign points to user. This action can be done either automatically or manually. For our example, we're going to leave it automatically because this actually makes it easier to manage. In this way, the points will be assigned to the users automatically for each purchase. Next, let's go here to assign points to. We have these two options, all users or only specified user roles. And also here I want to add that if you're using our GIF membership plugin, in this case you will also be able to assign the points only to the members. But in this case I will go ahead and leave all users. Now let's focus on this option, default points assigned, which is actually one of the key settings that we need to configure, because from this option we will be able to set how many points per product will be earned based on the product value. What this means is that from this option, we will decide how many points we want to award our users for a specific amount they spend in our shop. Let's say, for example, that for each $25 that the user spends, we want to assign them one point. In this case, if they purchase a t-shirt with a value of $50, they will gain two points. Now let's scroll down to show you this option, assign points when the order has the status and from here you will find these three options, order completed, payment completed and order processing. Here you will be able to decide if you only want to assign the points for one of these statuses or for all three of them, it will be entirely up to you. For the moment I believe we're ready with this section so let's go ahead and save the options to continue with the next tab, which will be the redeem options. So let's go ahead. Over here, this first option, allow users to redeem points, needs to be enabled. Otherwise, the users that have earned points in our shop won't be able to redeem them in the cart page. Next, in users that can redeem points, we can select all or only specified user roles. In this case, we do want to allow all users that have collected points in our shop to be able to redeem them later while purchasing in our shop. Now let's focus on the reward conversion. We have here this option for the reward conversion method and below the reward conversion rate. Let's have a look at the two methods. We can have either a fixed price discount or a percentage discount. Let's have a look first at this option that is selected. If we decide to work with a fixed price discount, then over here, first we will be able to enter how many points we want to take as the base to calculate the discount. In this case, for example, every 50 points the user collects equal to a discount of 10 US dollars in their card purchase. Now, if we change it to percentage discount, in this case it will be similar, we can also decide how many points to take as the base for the conversion, but in this case the discount will be managed in a percentage. So for every 20 points the user has, 
they will receive a 5% discount in the total of their purchase. For now, I do want to work with the fixed price, so let's go back to that one, and we will leave it as it is. For every 50 points, the users will receive a 10 dollar discount in the purchase. Now let's go ahead and save the options so we can move on to our front end to see what is happening over there. Over here, if I scroll down, we will find this new message is showing up for every product, which indicates the customer how many points they can get for the purchase of each specific product. For example, in this case, if the customer buys this t-shirt for $176, they will gain 7 points. Now, it will be up to you to decide if you want to show or hide this message in the shop page. And in the case that you do want to show it, you will have some options to customize it inside the customization tab in the plugin. So let's go over there to have a look. From here, let's go over now to customization. And right here, we will find this option, show points message in shop pages, which right now is enabled. However, just by clicking on this button, you will have the choice to disable it. But as I was saying, in the case that you do want to show the message in the loop, then you will be able to modify and customize the content of the message as well as the colors. Now let's go back to our page so we can see the message inside the product detail page. Okay, let's go ahead and open, for example, this product. And right here we will find the message. Purchase this item and get seven points a worth of $1.40. And same as for the message in the shop page, you will be able to decide whether you want to show or not this message inside each product detail page and also customize the content. Again, if we go back over here, we will find the shop points message in product page option. Again, you can either disable it if you don't want to show this message or if it is enabled, you will be able to decide on the message position for example, if we open here, you will find all of the different options available. And again, you will have a message editor so you can manage the content, the icon, and below the colors. Now, for the moment, we can leave everything as it is so we can go ahead and do a test to see the plugin in action. Okay, in order to test the plugin, first we need to go ahead and buy some products. So I have already added all of these products to our cart. In here, let me show you something else. As you can see, in this page, you will also find a message which indicates the customer how many points in total they will earn with this purchase. If we read here, it says, if you proceed to checkout, you will earn 12 points. However, same as before for the message in the shop and in the product detail pages, you will have the option to hide it or show it and customize it all from the same customization tab inside the plugin. Here in the customization tab, if we scroll almost all the way down, we will find the points in cart and checkout section. From here, you will be able to decide to show the points message in the cart page as well as in the checkout page. Again, for both options, you can either disable or enable the message and also customize the content. Now let's go back to complete our purchase over here, we're ready, so let's go ahead and proceed to checkout. In this case, since we also have the message enabled, we can read it right here, again indicating the total points we will earn with this purchase. I have already completed all of the details required, so all we need to do now is go ahead and place the order. Now that the order is complete, let's go ahead and have a look inside my account. From here, let's go to my points. And over here, we will find all of the details related to the points we have been awarded for our purchase. Now, in general terms, this is how the points collection works. However, we still have some more tricks up our sleeve, since for this new version, we have included some exciting features. For example, let's go back to our plugin for a moment. From this tab, Points option, we will be able to create points rules to assign a different amount of points to specific products or to specific user roles, members, or to those users that achieve a specific point level. Let's create, as an example, a rule to exclude a specific product from the points collection. For example, we can take this product, Animal Pattern Dress. To create the rule, let's go back to our plugin. We go over to Points Options and click on Points Rules. 
Over here, all we need to do is click on this button to create it. For the name, I will enter no points. And now let's move on to points type. In this case, since we want to exclude the product from collecting points, we need to select this option, don't assign points. Then we have this option, rule will be valid. And here we can select from now until it is ended manually. Next, apply rule to over here, if we open, we will have some options. Specific products, on-sale products, products of a specific categories or tags. In this case, we mentioned we only want to exclude one specific product, so let's go ahead with this option. Then in the field below, we can choose our product. The animal pattern dress, right here. And finally, we need to decide who we want to apply this rule to. In this case, we're going to leave it for all users. Now we're ready to save the rule and go back to our shop. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that only for this product, the animal pattern dress, the points message have disappeared. However, for all of the other products, it is still showing. This happens because since we have excluded this product from the points collection, no points will be assigned to our users if they purchase this product. Now, before we finish, I also want to show you something else. Besides these points that the users can get for the purchase of a specific product, with our plugin, you will also have the option to assign extra points for specific actions. Let's go back to our plugin to have a look. Here, inside the Points option tab, we will find this section, Extra Points. And as you can see, there are several options that you can enable. Let's have a look at each one of them. Let's see. With our plugin, you will be able to assign extra points to your users for the user registration, for the first daily login, for completing the profile. And now let me show you because these two are very interesting. They were actually some of the most requested features to be included in our plugin. This is extra points for referrals and extra points for referral purchase. Then we also have points for users that collected the most points for users that achieve specific levels, points as an incentive on total collected points, extra points for users' birthdays, which is also very nice, extra points for reviews, for orders, for card total, and for amount spent. Now, to use them, it is very simple. All you need to do is open each of the options that you want to enable and click on this button. Then you only need to set how many points you want to assign for this specific action. As you can see, today we have learned how easy it can be to enable a point collection system using our plugin Give WooCommerce Points and Rewards. Well guys, that was it for today. In the next videos, we will learn how we can use the points with levels, badges and rewards to build a gamification strategy. So stay tuned to our channel so you don't miss out. Bye-bye!